Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, October 17, 2024, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's start this morning call with a quick disclaimer, as usual. I only express my studies. I'm not a financial advisor. Future stocks, cryptocurrency, and options trade involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. The valuation of future stocks, stocks, cryptocurrencies, and options may fluctuate, and as a result, investors may lose more than their original investments. Uh, let's go to the summary of the market structure document. What I told you guys. Per squeeze metric, per dark, dark pool, we tend to see a trending day with a possibility of a new high. If you see a break of 5,850, right? So, key level for the downside tomorrow will be 5,840. If you see a break, we could see 5,810 print and worst case scenario, 5,780. But for today orders, I expect 5,810 hold for the sell pledge. That's, you know, a very quick summary to you guys. And I put very clear in, in the uh, in the market in sorry in the closed group that when the book uh, give me a doubt, I prefer to watch screen. Right? Today we tend to see a unidirectional movement. The movement could you be go to the ups, uh, to the downsides? Of course it is. I mean, we could open with a huge gap up and then we start to see a sell off, you know, and the trend could be for the downsides. Yes, yes, I just want to let you guys that yes, the, it, it's good. You know, the setup, as I put, you know, clear to you guys over here, the setup is same as you saw on Friday, right? But the, the difference. Also, could you be a trap, you know, because that left, left, left me a doubt. What I told you guys on Friday regarding, you know, this week, right? Possibility to a uh, pullback on Monday to see how time high on Tuesday. They did the opposite, right? They did the opposite. They removed the liquid from the book on Friday. The dark pool index moved to 44% exactly, you know, exactly as today, as yesterday, right? And the GX keep it stable at 6 billion at the time. So what, what we saw Monday, all time high, right? Today, the book, as I explained you guys, the, the GX is pushing us north. The, G, the GEX, the gamma exposure, is pushes north. The delta exposure is bullish. So this is the difference between Friday and the Friday, uh, the, the book left on Friday and the book left yesterday. Yes, I mean, on Friday, they suggested a pullback because you, we saw, you know, divergence between DEX and, 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 and gamma exposure and, and, and delta exposure. So they squeeze people, they bring to all time high. Today, today, that's the doubt. Today, the book left on yesterday, as you guys can see here, Gamma is pushing us north, and Dex is positive showing weakness only below 5,820, right? So this setup could be a trap, and then they could you bring it to nearby all time highs, breaking 5,850, and the trend could be go to the downsides. Of course, of course, but on Monday was the difference was a trending day, but we opened lower, right? And then we went straight up to all time highs, right? I just want to make clear that the setup is to see a trending day today. And I will put was clear to you guys that when book leave me, you know, a doubt, I prefer to watch the screen. Much certainly, much certainly, if market open with 25, 30 points gap up, I will, op I will, uh, I will buy a put for the end of November. Strike 5,900, 
probably this put supposed to be like 40, 43 delta minus 0.43 deltas below 0.50 deltas okay so that's my idea okay that's my idea maybe you buy 5850 uh, to try to gain more deltas of course if my interpretation is correct okay today tend to be a trending day i put this clean the cross group right <coughs> presenting <coughs> excuse me <coughs> presenting in the right side in the screen okay so let's compare the gamma after the cbo update and the dx pre-market the dx is real time is a pre-market and this is post-market so pay attention that in the gamma we start to see like a negative gamma negative gamma also is where we saw squeezes right is where we saw squeezes again today will be a trendy day could you be could could you go to the upside yes could you go to the downside yes that's my doubt when i have doubts i only watch screen okay i only watch screen but as i said before much certainly I buy a put if you if you we open you know with a big gap and I I will monitor closely five thousand eight hundred and seventy-five, five thousand eight hundred and eighty. I will monitor close those levels. If you break those levels, seventy-five eighty, the tendency is to see five thousand eight hundred and ninety back test. Okay? So those are the levels that I monitor for the upside. Pay attention per delta exposure. You know, the majority of the deltas are located in 5875. That's, you know, the level that uh, XPX already all time high. I mean, was 71. So, since you have higher delta exposure in 75, usually is a resistance. Okay, usually is a resistance. If you go up to there, I also put very clear in the market structure document. We have a big possibility if you break up 5850, we tend to see a new high today. Because the setup per dark pool, per gamma exposure, because the, the door is really tight. When the door is really tight, it works for both sides, up and down. Why? Because if you want to buy, you buy expensive. If you want to sell, you sell expensive, because depending on the movement of the market. Tight door means it's difficult to get in or get out. Okay? Anyway, so regarding levels today, 5,840, right? Pay attention yesterday at the close, the DEX, you know, the Delta exposure left after the close. We saw like uh, weakness, really weakness below 5,820, right? Look at the big gap between 10, uh, 20 and 10. But remember that yesterday you saw a bunch of orders printed at strike 5,810. I don't know if they buy or they sold, sell. In poor Delta, looks like they sell those calls. Crazy, but it's true. Of course, if you sell a call and going up, you need to neutralize delta, generate gamma, and consequently, you know, squeezes. Okay? That's is always the, the seller. That's always, that's always the seller. That, you know, I have been explaining to you guys. A lot of people also have been asking me, Fabio, everybody's saying out to flow, but market still going up. And remember, dealers sell tops. The dealers don't, the, uh, never sell bottom. So to sell tops, they need to work with Delta Gamma and special volatility Vega to squeeze people to bring market uh, up. So what they do when they squeeze people, those that are short asset managers that are playing negative Delta, they need to neutralize Delta. So they need to buy back. Okay, they need to buy back the assets they are short. So dealers are selling high. People are being forced to buy, period. Please understand that. I hope you guys try, you know, understand the dynamic of the market. Market doesn't need to go down if dealers are selling. Markets usually go up if they are selling, not down. They sell tops. Crazy, but it's true. Remember who operates 
markets nowadays is machines. Markets doesn't have any sentimental. Markets doesn't have bias. Markets look for premium. Anyway, let's go back to the labs. Uh, as I put in the summary, breaking up 5,850, we have a possibility to go to new all-time highs, right? Uh, so the inflection point for the downside is 5,840. Why I'm telling you guys uh, that the inflection point is, is, uh, is 5,840? Pay attention to the pre-market in the per volume. Uh, look that we have, you know, starting at 5,840, 35, 30, yeah, 40, you know, puts start to, to be in dominance. We have defense over here at 5,825, right? So, below 5,840, we start to see some uh, weakness. But, market could you be hold at 5,825, okay? Because, Calls a dominance in this strike per volume, pre market. Pay attention in the open interest. Let me see if I put, uh, let's compare first, you know, the volume yesterday and the volume today, and then you check the open interest. Uh, pay attention in the, uh, in the volume over here. So, yesterday, after the close, you know, we saw only strength below 5,820, right? Uh, we have like basically a no flow at 5,840, so you can see the gray, gray bar and the blue bar almost in the same levels. So calls and puts, you know, um, the volume almost equal, of course calls a little bigger, but it's almost equal, not too much discrepancy. But as you can see, we have defense up to 5,820. Uh, so below 5,820, you know, the gray, the gray bar starts to be bigger than the blue bar. Means, you know, puts start to be in dominance below 5,820. Today is slightly different, pre-market, right? So pay attention at 5,840, now puts are in dominance compared with calls. Could you be sell? Let me see the delta. Could you be they are selling uh, calls? And buy inputs because the delta is negative. That's the interpretation. Because when you sell a call, you generate negative delta. When you buy a put, you generate negative delta either. And serve serve for the opposite as well. So it looks like they are buying 5,840 puts. Pre-market. Pump and dump, it's in my radar. Okay? Today train tend to be a trending day. Today will be a trending day okay could you be could you go to the downside yes i don't disregard i told you guys i'm very trans transparent the book left me doubt so i'm watching screen but if i see a rejection you know in 75 or 5806 i will buy puts okay and then i will monitor carefully 5840 because 5,840 will be the inflection point for the downside, we could go lower, at least up to 5,810. Okay, so since we compare the volume, let's check the open interest. Okay, pay attention here. 5,840, let me compare with what we had yesterday. Okay, 5,840, before, that's, you know, the, the, the doubt that, you know, the book left to us. 5,840, you know, the, the, the puts were in dominance, right? Because the gray bar is higher uh, compared with the blue bar. But now, pay attention, 5,830, 5,840. Now, looks the uh, 726 contract, and looks like they closed some, you know, puts. Maybe they got stopped, right? Maybe they got stopped. With the, the movement that you saw yesterday, of course, stopped, you know, people that are playing neg negative delta, shorts, and also people that are hedging. Because, you know, the theta is burning a lot of premium, fast and furious, because the implied volatility is really high in put contracts. Just check the volatility skill, okay? The volatility skill is still showing discrepancy between out-of-the-money contracts. So, 
Now we have much more calls open than puts at 5,804. Okay? And we start to see a weakness per open interest, you know, below 5,815. Okay? So pay attention to those levels that before we have like puts in dominance up to 5,810 and you can see like a defense at 5,805 so gray bars pay attention that now the gray bar is lower compared with the blue bars so a lot of put was closed yesterday now we need to focus per open interest as 5,815 also match that I told you guys uh, if you break down you know the inflection point to the to the downsides so maybe the worst case scenario tend to be 5810 right because below 5815 puts start to be in dominance and pay attention in the defense that we have at 5800 so far market is not structured to break down 5800 but the book for next week looks like that dealers will try to break down 5,800. That's what I'm seeing the book right now. Everything depends of today because maybe they, they could reset, reset up everything, right? Today, again, tends to be a trending day. Inflection point for the downsize. 5,840. We have defense per volume at 5,825. And per open interest, you know, puts start to be in dominance at 5,815. Yesterday, we saw a big volume, call volume strike at 5,810. So 5,810, 5,815. Could you be the worst case scenario for today? Regarding upside targets, now the deck, the GX is totally different than yesterday. Of course, this is pre-market. This is supposed to be also updated at the open. But according to yesterday, you know, the setup is to bring us up to 5,875, 5,808. According to the delta exposure, the setup is still the same. Looks like that we will see a rejection at 5,875 because is uh, uh, where you know the delta exposure is located, acting as a resistance. And also per pre-market 5,825 tends to be a support, is because uh, is where we have positive delta exposure. What I told you guys over here. 5820 now right we have positive uh, i mean calls in dominance we start to see puts in dominance only below 5815 according to the volume pre-market 5825 is where they are trying to build a defense I highlighted with this green arrow. So the trend range today could you be between 5,825 and 5,875. Remember, tend to be a trending day. So if you open higher, back test 5,875 and reject, I don't disregard to see a downsize trend and back test 5,825. Of course, be, before 5,825, we have two important levels, 5,850, that now is the inflection point for the upside, and 5,840, that now is the inflection point for the downside. Okay? So the trending range today tended to be between 5,825 and 5,875. Guys, take care, enjoy your day, talk to you guys during the intraday.